Toby here back for another video. Sorry I missed Sunday's video, it was Valentine's Day. I decided to give myself the day off then, so hopefully all you guys enjoyed Valentine's Day as much as I didn't. <laughs> so yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. So before this video starts, just like to remind you that you guys are doing super well. Now it is down to 65% of you who aren't subscribed. Let's get that 50-50, hit that subscribe button and comment and like the video as well. And also if you want supplements, you know what to do. Link in the description, use code TOBYLIFELY1 for 10% off. So today we are going to be going over the five reasons why I prefer going to a public gym to a home gym. So previously we did a video where we went over how I prefer working out in a home gym and the reasons why that. But there are some reasons why a public gym might be better suited for you. So I thought I'd make a follow up video saying why the public gym is better for certain things. So reason number one is the variety of equipment at a public gym is so much greater than what you can get in a home gym because usually they're quite a big venue. They have a lot of more money to spend than you as an individual and you can get so much equipment which can help with the variety of movements, loads, cable stacks, all the different types of machines for isolating that muscle, uh, leg presses, super squats, everything. There's always more weight as well. At home, you're usually limited to just a barbell with maybe one or two machines of your choice. But at the public gym, there are just hundreds of machines that you can use at all times. And if you're doing bodybuilding, I'd say it's definitely better to go to a public gym so you can really isolate those muscles a lot better than you can in a home gym. So another reason that kind of contradicts the previous video is that there is other people there. There's lots of other people. And I said that was a bad thing in the other video because yes, it can be depending on who's there. But it's also nice to be able to bump into old friends you haven't seen in a while, make some new friends, see loads of people doing their workouts, get tips from them, that sort of thing. It can really help boost your workout and motivate you more to do certain things if you have other people there around you, which is a really, really nice thing to have. And especially a story that I once uh, found is that I actually learned how to do some various different movements uh, because I'd seen people do it at the gym rather than looking it up online and stuff like that. I'd seen people do it and asked them, what is that movement good for? What does it do? And I've incorporated those into my actual workouts, which has been super, super helpful for growing me as a person muscular wise. So another reason why I prefer the public gym is ties back to the last reason with other people being there. You always have a spotter no matter what like if you would like to bench PR at home you have to organize for someone else to be there have safeties out something like that but at the public gym if you want to go for a bench PR you can ask the guy next to you anyone in the gym one of the trainers anything to spot you because there is always someone there who will be willing to spot you and help you get that PR which has been super super helpful getting these PRs because luckily in the home gym I've been lucky enough back at home to have my brother do all the spotting but here in the home gym when we're in lockdown, I don't have that luxury. So I am certainly missing being able to just ask someone to spot me whilst I'm going for a PR because then you can continually increase your goals and chase them much more easily, which is super, super nice. And of course, once you get the honor of being asked to spot someone, you feel like such a big dude because they've gone, that's the guy I want to save my life if I drop the bench press. And it makes you feel super, super good. So another reason is it is more motivating in some circumstances if you go to a public gym. I know so many people who enjoy the process of getting themselves up out of the house and once they get to the gym they're in the zone and they know it's separate from their home life and they can really get motivated. I know I said motivation is a big thing for why I work out at a home gym and it's because I'm usually more motivated to work out if I don't have to travel but for some people the traveling gets them into the zone to really get a good workout in and really, really prosper when it comes to lifting and stuff, which I completely empathize with. If I could be bothered to travel more, I could see how that would be helpful. And separating it from your home life to your gym life, it can be that escape for people and motivate them to get a much better workout in. So I completely get that, and that is why I'm including, including this as number four. And the fifth and final reason why the public gym is better than a home gym is that if you're a gym newbie who doesn't know what they're doing, it is much safer and more easy to do it in a public gym because you get then trainers, people who know what they're doing, people who be doing loads who are able to help you and stuff like that. They'll be able to tell you how to do movements, correct your form if it's wrong, save you from injury, which in a home gym, you're completely relying off YouTube videos and yourself to judge whether you're doing it correctly or not. And it's always good to have another pair of eyes watching over you whilst doing these sort of movements, especially if they are heavier movements like a deadlift or a squat. It is super good to have someone who knows what they're talking about right there with you in person to then show you what you're doing 
And that is why the public gym is better for newbies, especially who are just getting into it. Because as much as you may think it is, you're going to get judged or not for getting to the gym, there's always someone there willing to help you. And it's always something that is helpful. I started going to the gym at a public gym. I actually got personal training there just so I knew what I was doing. And then once I started moving uh, to the home gym, I already knew what I was doing. I already knew how to correctly do the movements. And it was all about bettering myself and getting heavier and heavier then, which is why the home gym is now better for me. But at the start, the public gym definitely was. So there we have it, guys. That is five reasons why public gyms are better than home gyms. But it still doesn't change the fact that I do choose to work out in a home gym and I continue, will continue to. This is for those people who would like to work out in a public gym and are trying to weigh up the options. I thought it was only fair to make a follow-up video looking from their point of view. And I can completely see why the public gym would be better for certain people. It just doesn't work for me. So there we go. That's it. One thing I am going to say is if you would like me to do a Q&A, either DM me questions on Instagram or in the comments of any video. And once I collect enough, I will do a Q&A video. Hopefully in the next coming weeks, I've got some good videos planned for you guys. It's been really tough to try and think of video ideas to do whilst just locked in my room. Hopefully things will ease up soon and I can get out and about, start collabing with people, that sort of thing. But for now, I'm stuck in the bedroom making these top five videos, which is not what I want to do. But you know what? They're good enough. They get people watching and they're a good conversation topic. So if you want to have a discussion or something, leave a comment down below. I reply to pretty much every comment. I see literally every comment at the minute. So please do comment down below. And as I said, Q&A wise, once I get enough questions, I'll do a Q&A. So please send those questions in. But if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Use code TobyLifely1. Any videos you want to see in the future, comment down below. DM me on Instagram, which you can find in the description down below. And on Twitter, which also you can find in the description down below. But yeah, please share this video around. Let's try and get it to hit the algorithm. Let's try and get my channel boosted. Let's get to 100, 100 subs by Easter is the plan. Hopefully we're nearly nearing on 60 at the minute, which is really quite good considering I only started about a month ago. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.